Let's take a look at creating relative links between our InDesign documents so we can point one portion of our site to another. If you have access to the premium exercise files, I've got the three InDesign files open from the starting source folder. Now what I'm going to do is add hyperlinks to all these items. There's two different ways to do it, and we're going to do both in this file. So I'll select one of these items, and I'm just going to open up the hyperlinks panel. If you don't have access to that, it's under Window, Interactive, hyperlinks. And when I select one of these, I can actually type in a URL. Now there is a trick to creating a relative URL. It is to not put a protocol in front. No HTTP colon slash slash, right? Just start off with the file path. If you go back and reference our target structure, we're going to be referencing add, demo, mag, and secure on this landing page. So in InDesign, this is our mag, so I'm just going to select the URL and type mag. And I'm going to put a trailing slash, that means this is a folder. And once this goes out to the web, almost all web servers are configured to automatically recognize that an index file is what we want to load when we only point to a folder. So technically, if we were putting this on the web, all we would need is this mag slash. But since I want to be able to test this locally without running it on a server, I'm going to add this index bit. But if I were just doing this for myself, I'd just type mag slash. So that's just something to think about. Then I'm going to hit return, and that will add the URL. I'm going to do this with each of these. And instead of this being mag, it's going to be demo. And I'll hit enter. And then I'm going to come over here and select the add and make that add. And then for the secure area, let's do this the other way. Let's go into the buttons and forms panel. Now, this is already a button. If you don't have one, you just select an item or a group. And there's this button becomes a convert to button, or you can select it from the top section. Buttons and forms is found in the interactive section of the window menu just like the hyperlinks panel. Once I have this button, I'm using the on tap or release event, which is the default, and I'm just going to add an action and make it go to URL. Now I've got a space for the URL, and that works the same exact way. I'm just going to type secure, and then add the slash and index.html in this case, because I want it to work locally. So now to test this, I'm just going to save my document, and I'll go up to the IN5 menu and choose Export HTML5 with IN5. I'm going to turn off the IN5 footer in the link because I don't need that. And I'll go ahead and just click OK, and we'll see what this looks like. So now testing the local version, you can see that these links are there because I get a pointer finger when I hover over each of these. Now because we haven't linked anything up, we're going to get a file not found message, but we can actually see that this is going to where we want it to. This is where our landing page lives in this folder. So we want to go into an add subfolder. So it's going to work once we get everything connected up. So let me switch back to InDesign. And I'm going to go into Secure, and I'm going to do the same thing. But you know, I kind of like the hyperlinks panel. Uh, you might like the buttons for some reason. Um, you might like combining it with other actions or something. But I just find these hyperlinks are so easy to add. I'm going to select the protocol that's on here. Now we're going to do a different kind of relative link. When we want to go back to this home page, we want to go up a level. So I want to add a relative link to the parent folder. Let me give you a tip before I do that. If you ever need to reference the current folder, you can do that as a dot slash. Normally though, most systems just assume you're in the current folder. So we don't need to do that. But creating link to a parent folder is just as easy. It's dot dot slash and I'll hit enter that'll go up to the parent folder. I might go ahead and export this and show you an issue and then we're immediately going to fix it. So I'll export HTML5 with in5 and I'm going to turn off that footer and just click OK. And then when it's done I'm going to open it in the default browser. Again this isn't going to work because we don't have our file structure set up but when I do this you're going to notice that it opens this other tab. Well, I don't want it to do that in this case. Maybe I don't mind on the landing page if it opens the projects in a separate tab. That's the default behavior of hyperlinks in N5, so you don't lose that original page. But when I'm going back to the home page, I actually do want to do that in the same window. Let me go back to InDesign. To fix this, I'm just going to go up to N5, Interactive Widgets, 
and down to the hyperlink panel. It's set to document default, which launches in a new window. I'm going to change that to same window. And then I am going to save this document and export within five again. Click OK to run it through. And then done and switch over to my browser and just click to refresh. Now, when I click on this back to home page, it's not going to go to the right place, but it is going to at least go to that in the same window. So when I click back, I'm, I've stayed in this one tab. So back in InDesign, um, I'm also seeing that I didn't put index on there. So you should probably go ahead and do that if you want to test locally. And real quickly, in the secure subfolder, this says up one level. If we want this to go up to the home page, I think this one already has it set up on the buttons and forms panel. Yeah, we could go up twice. So I could do dot dot slash dot dot slash, and that would go up from sub to secure up to our main landing page folder, right? So you can stack these up directions as many as you need to. But really, we're going to go up to the main secure area. Just so that, that button says up one level. So I'm going to delete that, hit return, and then go ahead and make this the same window, and we can export, and that should work as we expect as well. So that is creating relative links in InDesign. Now we're going to pull our site together and test it all locally.